What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Ways of the Sith. Thank you for taking time to check out the channel. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Ways of the Sith. Today, we're going to check out the new Snake Eyes and Timber G.I. Joe Classified set. All right, so here is a look at the Snake Eyes and Timber artwork. And I do like this artwork a lot better than just the, the 3D render of the figure on the front of the package. Um, they seem to keep it little on the bottom, but give us this nice artwork piece, which, which I really do enjoy. Um, as you can see, we have the attributes on the side here. And then on the back of the box, have a look at Snake Eyes, Timber, and all the stuff that they come with. And then on the side here, we get a look at the Snake Eyes artwork. So let's get this open and check it out. All right, so similar to the Ninja 2-pack and the Cobra Viper 3-pack, we see Snake Eyes and Timber come on this board like this, attached. And then we have our case with the accessories in it. So let's get these open, get these off the card, and see what we got. All right, and here's our look at Snake Eyes and Timber outside of the package. And I gotta say, I really, really love the subtleness to this Snake Eyes. It reminds me of the G.I. Joe Renegades, like Snake Eyes version. It's got a little bit of gray to it and just a little bit of shininess, which is cool. It just allows, you know, just a little bit of color onto the figure, which I really like. It's not just the plain all black Snake Eyes. Um, and Timber just looks phenomenal, this white version. Oh, man. I love the animals. Uh, anybody who's watched my previous Joe reviews knows I would buy an entire line of the articulated animals if they put out a box set. I'm all for it. Um, here we have the sword, which actually is painted this time, which is a nice touch. Here we have the Alley Viper crossbow. Here is one of the assault rifles. And here is the katana sheath for the sword. So it does have the Arashikage logo on it, but it's subtle. It's not like painted like the previous one was. But I do like the fact that the blade is painted this time. Uh, it's got also got like a leather look to it. Really cool. Um, we also have the accessory bag, which is sealed. That's how the Joes come. So. You always know if these bags are open that somebody's been in them and tampered with them. Gotta make sure you get everything out of it because some stuff does tend to get stuck. We have the alternate head for timber. We have the alternate hands, the ninja karate chopping hand and the ninja star throwing in. We have snake eyes Uzi, thankfully, finally. We also have the uh, pistol with the silencer, a knife, one of the other Alley Vipers guns, and we have the same top piece that comes with Stalker. Now, I didn't get Stalker yet, but um, I know from looking at the pictures and some other reviews, this is the same exact piece that comes with Stalker. All right, so here's a better look at the Snake Eyes with some of his accessories in hand. I swapped out the hand and put the Ninja Throwing Star. The hands are a little tight, so just be careful when you're popping these on and off. The pegs are really, really thin, as you can see here. Um, so just be careful attaching them and taking them out. Uh, they are a little longer than normal, but they are a little more fragile. So please be careful doing that. Um, and again, as you can see, I don't know if it comes across in the video, but the black has like almost a navy grayish tint to it a little bit. Um, it just kind of differentiates the, the, the top from the bottom and the black that's in the gray. It just looks really, really cool. And, and I really like this iteration. I almost feel though, like if this is supposed to be the Renegades iteration, um, he should have came with like a, a cloth goods trench coat to go over the top. That would have been like, that's the only missing piece for this. Um, I do like, like the, the visor is super shiny. Something that was missing from some of the previous releases. Um, I do only have the version one snake eyes. So I'll get to compare that. And I do have timber. Um, I bought that separately. So I'll be able to compare and contrast the previous versions with the new one. All right, so one thing I do notice is when you put this, you know, 
covered piece on top, it really pushes out a lot. Um, my guess is you're supposed to probably take off the bandolier and then put this on to give him more of that Renegades look without the bandolier. Um, but yeah, this definitely like bunches up and pushes up in the front. So you're going to have to remove that if you want him having to wear this. So I took off the bandolier and, and put like the poncho on him. And I still don't kind of like the way this looks. It does kind of just stick out a little bit too much on the chest. It looks better now that the bandolier's off, but it's still just not really my favorite look for snake eyes. Um, I was anticipating this sitting a little bit differently. Uh, maybe you're more of a fan of it, but I will probably end up using this for something else. Now checking out Timber. We have a fully articulated wolf. I do like the fact that the scar is a little bit more prominent on uh, the white version. Really, really cool. And the head swap off like they did on the previous version. Just pop that off. Pop that on. Until you hear the click. And there you go. Now he's got the angry face. Really, really cool. And now we can compare it with the other timber side by side Whoop. as you can see that's knocking down we can compare it with the other timber and just see that they are the same exact mold same exact figure just uh with that different paint and i definitely think with this body you can do a couple different things and i still think we can get law and order which that's the one i'm really hoping for and i think uh they should do the rottweiler uh with with junkyard I think that would be yeah, awesome. just giving you a better up close look and you can really see it here that grayish blue tint compared to like the matte black um i really really like this version of the figure i think this is cool having a little bit of color to snake eyes um like i said i swapped the head out mainly because i just like the little specks of red and the arashikage logo on the, this snake eyes to keep him simple but give him a little gray there but I love, love this new version and just the, the tactical look. It looks more like a real life Snake Eyes. Um, you would see, you know, he's got more of that soldier look along with the ninja. This is more of just the steady ninja. Both really cool, both great figures to have to the collection. So now I believe the actual price of this pack is, is $45. I ended up saving $12 on it and got it for $33 or $32 and change. So my my opinion might be a little skewed as as far as the value on that because i did save the money um in comparison as as you know spending full price so to me it's worth the 32 or 33 dollars that i spent on it maybe for you 45 is a little bit too much maybe wait for it to go on sale but that's one of the things that i do tell you about amazon and taking advantage of that pre-order guarantee sometimes you really make out really great and save yourself a couple bucks in the long way but here's another close up look at both of the wolves and they just look so awesome side by side together. Um, I, I really am gonna take a lot of pictures of these, probably see some pictures even with Ezra and these two wolves. Uh, just look so, so cool. And I love that like they have that differentiate to them. Like that scar is so much more prominent than it is on, on this timber. Uh, it just looks really, really cool. Okay, and here are both versions of Snake Eyes. And I think with this other Snake Eyes in the frame, now you guys can see what I'm talking about, about this one kind of having a little bit of a navy blue tint to it or a grayish tint to it to kind of differentiate it and give it that Renegades feel. Uh, it feels rem very reminiscent of that. Now this Snake Eyes, I did swap the head with the Zartan head just to give it more of a visor. Um, I preferred this look, but now having both of these they, they look really really great side by side and i'm happy to have two of these wolves um i'd take a whole wolf pack if i could um like i said i would be all for all the dogs all the animals anything they want to make I, i'm here for it so overall another great set from gi joe classifieds they just continue to be my favorite brand and knock it out of the park i really really love these figures and i love this renegades look to snake eyes it's perfect if you want that military style to your ninjas. You like more of like the real world stuff as opposed to like the fantasy. This is the Snake Eyes you want in your collection then if you're one of those fans. Um, I Like I said, I prefer the ninja look, but this tactical ninja is, is the best blend of both worlds in my opinion. Uh, thank you guys so much for taking time to check out the video.
please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you're going to be picking this up. Thanks again, and as always, may the force be with you.